Hi guys, this is Spanglish Plays and welcome to something a little bit different. Now I've had a few people commenting on videos and sending me messages asking how I take free kicks in my Master League mode. And well, I thought I'd do a little tutorial on the easiest way to score free kicks in this game. Now I'm no expert on taking free kicks, I mean knuckleballs, I still can't really get the hang of it. And you see some people doing amazing over the wall free kicks. But uh, the most effective way that I find is going around the wall. So let's get right into this tutorial. Now the first thing that you want to do is select a decent free kick taker in your team. Now as you can see on the top right corner we have the uh, different options that we can do. And the first button is the set piece taker. Now this is on Xbox. I think on PS4 it's the select button. Um, so we're going to press that and here you can see like an overview of the best free kick takers. Now the best ones in our team are Urzil and Cathorla with 83 and 81. Now this is just a general guide on who is the best free kick taker. It doesn't tell the whole story. The best way to tell who the best free kick taker is, is actually going into the stats of the player. And what we want to look at here is their place kicking and their swerve. Now, place kicking for Cathola is 79 and 86 swerve, which is not too bad. I mean, place kicking could be a little bit better, but that swerve will get you quite a few goals with this method. And if we go to Urzil, he's got 82 and 86 swerve also, which is just excellent. I mean, there are other factors that come into play when taking free kicks, but these two stats are probably the most important ones. The second step is that we're not going to go over the wall, although they've got a couple of small players there, but we're actually going to go around the wall. Now the best way to do this is just look at the little line, the directional guide, and that will help you to see where the ball is going to go. Now the end of that line is not where the ball is going to end up, I must really stress that point. This is just to show you in which direction the ball is going to go in. So what's going to happen here is the ball is going to go where the directional line is taking us and it's going to continue going past that line so what we want to do is aim a little bit to the outside of the post and then finally what we're going to do is we're going to shoot and i would say probably do about three quarter power so let's try that and as you can see it has gone straight in an incredible free kick from gathorla now let's go to the other side Okay, so now we're on the left side, and we would take this with a left-footed player. So if you're on the right side with a right-footed player, if you're on the left side with a left-footed player, so you can curl it around the wall, and just outside of the post. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the same amount of power as before. And, well, that normally would have gone in, of course, sometimes the goalkeeper saves it, but there's nothing wrong with it. They're not all going to go in, but the point is to actually get it on target. That's the most important thing. Okay, so let's try that again. So we go to the left side, just outside the post, maybe between the last two defenders' heads if that helps you to aim a bit more. Three quarter power more or less, and straight into the top corner. Just a quick tip before we finish this video, make sure to practice, practice and practice because that is the only way that you're going to get good at free kicks. And that way you can tweak things a little bit like the power, the direction until you find something that's perfect for you. Also practice with different players. Not all players take free kicks in the same way. For example, in my case, my favorite player to take free kicks with is Cathorla. I just find that he's got an amazing ability to take free kicks and just the way he kills the ball around the wall. Uh, makes him my favorite player to do this with. So let's take one more free kick with him just outside the post between the two defenders heads if that helps you and three quarter power maybe a bit more sometimes and straight into the goal. So guys if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful make sure to drop a like share it as well if you have any friends who are having trouble scoring free kicks and I hope that um, this video will help you to score more in your master league or in your my club or whatever you play on PES 2017. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you found this tutorial helpful, if it's worked for you at all. And if you would like me to do more tutorials, also let me know and I'll be happy to do them, no problem. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon.